Hey guys, this is the Ian and Grammy Show. Today we're taking you through a garden walkthrough. Once again. Probably the last one. Probably the last one before probably the last one before the spring coming. So I'd like to take you so I'm gonna take you some of the way, then Graham will take us the rest of the way. Okay. We're starting off with this bed. Uh, this one, those are our winter squashies. I call them squashies for a reason. There's Ben the Apple. Let's see how he's doing. He's doing real good. He's saying like and subscribe. Did you hear Ben? He said like and subscribe. Yes, he did. Please like and subscribe and ding the bell. We have some sunflowers we still have, growing. We have way too many marigolds. Because look, we grew those from seed. Those are like twice as big as the ones we bought from the store. Yeah. That store that ain't growing them real big. And we have two sunflowers. This one's just starting and this one is is growing two sunflowers. Goodness gracious. Yeah. And hopefully they'll get to grow before the frost and cold sets in. Yeah, I know. We still have zucchini coming, but I don't know what's going to happen with cold weather. What do you think? The okay. zucchini's probably going to perish. It, it could. I don't know if I've got a way to... I don't think I've got a big enough cover cloth. These winter squashes are just fine, right? Well, we're going to pull them, probably. Because mm -hmm. it looks like it's trying to die back. Okay, on to the next bed. This is our tomato jungle. Including these cherry tomatoes. I Have you enjoyed one. being in charge of the cherry tomatoes this year? Yeah. I'm probably going to be in charge of a new plant next year. I'm going to be in charge of the zucchinis next year. Okay. Wait, does that have more jobs than the tomatoes? Mm, probably. Depends on how much we have next year. Are we going to plant more of these? Um, probably. Are we going to plant any more of these grape tomatoes? Probably not the grape tomatoes. No more grape tomatoes. So, what do we got going on up here? This is oh, basically okra, tomatoes, and what kind of marigolds are those? Okay. Cracker Jack. Ha Cracker Jack. Okay, what about in the first <coughs> bed? This is our cabbage yeah, Cabbage and radish and kale. Mm -hmm. Wait, are we going to make kale smoothies out of those? Yeah, just for you. Make them for Iron Blade, more like. <laughs> you like kale smoothies, apparently. This spot's supposed to be more cabbage, but we've got it covered up. Well, we have cardboard on it, but that cabbage over there, but if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. This is mostly marigolds. Yep. Now, Graham will take you through the rest of the tour. Okay. As you know, if you followed any of our garden walks, this is the bed that we planted peas and beans in. Peas and beans are beans are still doing good. We have lima beans in the bottom um, growing like crazy. Um, they're just gonna if somebody else doesn't come and pick them they're just gonna stay because well yeah <laughs> I'm pretty well ready to wrap up. Um, have another okra and Roma tomato bed it's been kind of dry, so if you see some things drooping over, and then this is the other side of the tomato bed. I think my partner abandoned me. We're going to pull a lot of the tomatoes because, yeah, it's going to be cold. So we're going to pull what we can before the weather changes because everything kind of survived the last little bit of cold, but it may not this time. So we're going to pull what we can pull. We have a bunch. I, I apparently planted way more cherry tomato plants than I realized. We're not going to do that next year. Um, and so, yeah, 
So we still have some things coming in. This one is done. Um, it didn't produce, which is, it, it didn't produce very much, but that was probably me. Uh, we'll be putting, it's going to be kind of sad looking. It looks kind of sad now, but it's going to be kind of sad looking in a few more days because all of the, all this stuff is going to have to be picked and pulled out and put to bed. And, you know, we have to go out to the farm and get, we're going to get compost and get the new beds put out that we've got. Um, we've got some peppers. Um, if we could get a good rain before the weather gets bad, we might get some more peppers. Um, if not, oh well, here we are, end of the season. Um, uh, time is growing hay, but we knew that would happen. Um, I need to get down here and pull it all out for right now. I'm just kind of letting the insects have fun. Um, that'd be a boy riding down the hill on his bicycle. Um, pretty much everything is wrapping up. Um, hate to really see my squash, my zucchini go, but it, you know, gets that time of the year. Um, Kentucky pole beans, these did not produce a, but one bean, see? One little bean right there. That's all that it came out of this show. There's always next year. Um, so this is probably going to be one of the last walkthroughs that we do. Um, we may do a walkthrough when we get the other beds down. We may not. It's going to look sad here in a bit because all of this is going to get pulled out and just be empty until next year. But there's some, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on here. There should have been beans because this was planted well in time to produce beans, but instead it just kind of produced a bunch of mess. Um, we've still got some carrots to pull. Um, there's still squash growing, trying to grow. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Um, like I said, for right now, we're just kind of leaving most everything so that the insects and stuff can get as much benefit as possible. Um, Yahoo! That's, uh-oh, you okay? I'm fine. Yep. Hey. We're going to wrap this up. The boy yeah, has taken, okay, we're going to wrap this up. Boy just <laughs> took a spill on his bike. He's okay. Um, we thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Like uh, Ben said. And we'll see you in the next video. Remember, we love you. Oh. I am the mayor's daughter. And I'm the mayor's great-grandson. We'll Signing off for today.